let's see the quick demo of free hosting or your api which as building along with the clean architecture so here that complete api over here and this is the free hosting and free hosting environment we have used on monster asp.net which is completely free and here uh, what i'll do i'll just test it okay how is actually working so if i go to this product api so in this product api has those the data whatever product in this you know shopping apis so this is a shopping api and yeah if i want to order so i already order it so i can see what are the order currently in my system so now this is that system orders which already placed and and same things we can check that categories whatever the categories we have and yeah so this is actually complete application uh, which we have to deploy in our you know free hosting environment so yeah let's go to that implementation so before that I start implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel so go to my channel which is .net real world example and here i just you know couple of session is going on uh, which we have used there is a couple of session we just use uh, deployed a uh, different different app so this is that first app actually i just deployed now second one i use the blazer application along with the database now also we are use uh, deployment of that you know uh, angular along with the node.js server and along with the sql database so yeah i'm um, especially recommend those are things actually if if you have to learn those technology you can learn it like how we are deploying those other technology as well and if you want to additionally learn in that front end back end as a holistic developer or game development or ai integration and all so you can learn many many things in these channels so yeah uh, let's let us start to implementations so first let me open our repository so this is my repository and this is my link okay which have just built a clean architecture along with the web api and here is that nice document also i just created like how this work and what is the clean architecture and what is the key and what is the technology we are use and how we can start or we can clone it and we can start our application and what are the endpoints actually we are just built actually which is actually we are building a shopping app so this is a shopping app api uh, which has the, all that apis uh, rest apis so everything actually we just nicely documented over here and also we are just uh, giving that complete throw or you know workflow of that application like how it's just working actually this application like request go to the presentation layer then application layer then infrastructure layer and then connect with the database and get the data and re re response back the data so actually nice document i just prepare over here so you can take it so now simply we just clone it this application first so clone that and once you clone it i'm just open in our visual studio so this is my uh, visual studio and i just open that clone app and i can first actually i just run it but before run it actually we have to check it like what is that yeah this is my local local database over here so i can just run and see how actually look like so here uh, my application is running and if i just open it here and if i go back to swagger because i just use the swagger so yeah in the swagger i can see all that endpoint is available right and if i just get that you know quickly run this any product app uh, product uh, endpoint so i can able to see that application is getting retrieving the data right so that is nice now uh, what i can do that now so we have to deploy this app right uh, as a free hosting environment so for that uh, i have to go to uh, you know one of the site which is a monster app so first we have to open it over here and simply log in and it is just completely free without any credit card and login and nothing actually you have to do that so simply you just try to log in and that's it once you logged in i already ex explain everything to how to log in and you know go to there so you can check out my recommendation videos so once you logged in now you look like this okay so this is that actually panel uh, once you logged in so you are able to see this is that you know control panel and in here there's a two section one is the website one is that you know database so which we have to trying to use over here 
so first we have to create a database so simply uh, i have to create this here and i just use this free version so click that and over here which uh, database you want to use i want to use 2022 and simply I just continue and just select and create the database so now your database got created now see this is a free plan and also it's just creating and now it's got enabled so that means your database got created and if you go to inside this database so this is that actually uh, the database I just clicked on database so here two section either if you want to access your know, remotely so you can just enable this one or if you want to use the local so you can use it and this is that complete information of your database server so that we have to configure in my uh, um, in that place in my configuration over here right so yeah let me just configure that first so what is my server name so this is my server name and yeah instead of this also where we have that connection complete connection string so we can utilize this also so show that password and i can just copy this complete connection string so copy this and go back to your application and simply you can change to your connection string that's it okay so this is one thing we have to do that second things actually we required you know publish profile so either you can just publish itself over here as a right click on that and publish profile and directly you can just drag and drop right that we can do but yeah, i'll just use that using that publish profile so how i can just create that publish profile so for publish profile uh i need to create a website okay so go to that you know go to that you know overview or not overview actually that main dashboard so this is that you know database section so yeah go to that main dashboard so here that main dashboard and here i need to create a website where i need to publish my uh, web api right so create that new website and again just create a site over here and just make it as subdomain name over here whatever the domain you want so this is my uh, shop now api okay so yeah i think that pretty much good continue and if his name is available so it will create if not so they will asking to you have to you have to change their name okay so now once you're done now you have to just create and now it is trying to create our site okay so we need to wait a few seconds to complete them okay now it's complete so once you complete now click again on that site and go to inside that and here one thing actually we have to done like we have to add a ssl certificate okay so for that we have to use that https section click on that and in here uh, see here actually it is a disable right so we have to enable so before enable actually we have to enable https so click on that and click that let let's encrypt and enable that https and once you're done now see now https is enabled over here and forcefully redirect to your https to you can just simply enable that that's it so this this configuration you need your site so once you're done now you are good to go and go back to again that overview and in here i need to download or i have to use that publish profile okay so publish profile see there's a couple of things over here like uh, the deploy ftpp or web deployment and all right so i need uh, this publish profile so simply I just click that and in here so if i want to deploy this web deployment access so i have to enable and once you enable then i can get this uh, i can use this one okay so simply i can just enable that and once you enable now i can just download this file and i can just use in my some place so i can use it someplace and now go back to your visual studio 
and in the visual studio uh, we we can do one thing actually before you use that go to that program.cs file and if you scroll down yeah see so currently only uh only dev i uh, know dev mode like on the, on the local development mode actually swagger is enabled right so what i'll do i'll just comment this section so that actually after deployment i want to see that swagger is swagger ui okay so simply i just uncomment it actually this is not a right way to production but yeah i'll just use for for demonstration perspective okay and save it and now right click on that api project not any other project because see that api project actually reference all that other uh, layers right as a clean architecture layer so i don't need to do anything on other layer but simply you can just right click over here publish profile and uh, go to that import file import profile next and in here i'll just choose that profile which i just downloaded open it finish it okay close that okay so once you close now see your that same profile name is over there like that url so i can just simply copy this url and i want to see what exactly now before deployment so if i just open it so see it is nothing right so once i deployed my app should be available so now go back to your application and in here you can just simply publish okay so now see i am able to see it is succeed deployment okay so once you succeed and automatically open it to that site but i can see there's a some issue so that could be a two reason actually might be i missed that configuration one configuration so but i i i think uh first i need to check like my my database okay so actually i just missed that migration okay so that's why it, it could be reason so what i can do I, I need to check in my database over here so it should not yeah see there is a no database that means the migration is failed or or it is not there so yeah my actually in my here i don't see is there any migration automatically so for that actually what i can do uh actually i need to do something over here before publish so whatever that publish profile you just created click on that show all settings and in here if you see uh this is that my database connection that is fine and this is just describing the database data context okay so let me get that data data context okay so now i am able to see my data data context is over there so see here that option actually before publish actually first they will migrate it so there's a two way either you can use this way or you can directly connect your database and you can just migrate okay and now third way also you can just use you know auto migration before publish your application so that up to you whatever mechanism you want to use so i'm just using this this mechanism because it is very easy so i just checked and save it now i want to publish so this time hopefully that it will be migrate my database and properly run my application okay now see it is automatically opened and i am able to see publish got succeed even i if i want to see over here so yes here that database just added and also they just migrate as well so yeah it is pretty much good now they just complete the migration and once you migration it's automatically opened over here and i can just check with the swagger ui uh like swagger so once you click the swagger so see now it's redirect to my swagger ui perfect now see that api properly deployed on this free hosting and with this url and here uh I, I want to check that database so now the default in a few product would be available over there yes now this is that product is available even some category also would be available uh don't worry about that we will check those things in the hosting database as well 
so if i just check uh, categories yes so here are the categories if i see yeah so there's the categories and if i see uh, any orders so it should not be any orders perfect there is an order so what we will try to do we will just create a on order okay so for that what i can do i need to create a cart okay so currently does not have any cart so i just need to post over here so let me use something as a session id for example demo one two three session id okay so this is my session id and i will use which product i want to put uh, order so i want to order this product so i just first before order i just to add this product in my cart okay and as a quantity would be something to quantity right and once you execute now see it is got added and that we can check using this same session id copy that and go to this you know card session get endpoint and if i just execute i'm able to see the item i just add in my card it is available over here and this card actually uh, we can order we can place the order okay so place the order we have to go to this order section click order one and currently it does not have any order right that is perfectly fine now we can go to the post endpoint for that order and in here I can use the session ID whatever session ID this is my session ID and customer email would be like whatever email comma.gmail.com yes that is fine and execute so once you execute now it's got created and once you got created now we can check my orders so yes now i can see the order got placed successfully with this items and current status is pending perfect so now uh, this api is perfectly working after deployment right and same things we can check you know we can ensure our database also is on a place or not so go back to here so now if i just refresh on here see uh, once i go to that overview let me see uh, this is that overview section of the database so if you go to the table section so whatever the tables actually in this api so those are automatically created all along with the migration history and uh, if i want to the data see also i can see the data row is three is available order item is one one order actually we just place it that's why it's one order right so yeah that means it is perfectly working fine if you want to see on uh, the database also so you can go to this web interface and open it over here and you are also check that database whatever that database and also in here expand that go to the database go to the tables and yeah you can just check the data for orders so so here uh, these are the tables over here right so in this database and if you want to see particular items so we can go to this order section and here see open the table once you click the open table and i'm able to see the record is available right so yeah i think that's how actually you can just deploy your application in a free uh, using this free hosting environment and uh, yeah that's all for this session thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share